Hi everyone. So today I am going to show you guys how to apply your full set of Color Street nail polish. Everything that I need is right here in this package. So we are going to start by opening up the package. Now before I did this, my hands are nice and warm. They are washed and dried. I don't have any lotion or oil on them. You want to make sure the polish is at room temperature and I am pulling out our stuff. So here's the set that I'm using. This one is called Pacific Waters. It is an ombre color. It's a transitional polish. Um, so you're going to see we have purple, we have a little bit of green, and we have silver. Looks really, really cool on your nails. So in this package, you receive the 16 double-ended strips. And again, notice the curvature is different on each end. You get an alcohol prep pad and you get a nail file. Yay! All right, so I'm gonna start by using the alcohol prep pad. This removes any oils, natural oils. We wanna have that removed. Starting with the pinky and at the thumb. All right. Set that aside. I'm gonna put this down so that you guys can see what I'm doing. All right. So here is our polish. So again, you get 16 double-ended strips and this is called Pacific Waters. This is one of my favorite glitters. You see the different colors. All right. So, there you go. All right. So, what we're going to do is we are looking for width of your nail bed. So, I'm just going to set the ones that I'm going to use aside. And let's see. So I'm checking to see which one is going to work best. Get to that one. And I need one for my finger. So I'm going to see that one. All right, and then one for my pinky, which I think is going to be this one. See that? Again, notice that this curve is different from the one on top, so you're just going to fit it to your finger. And what I'm actually going to do is, because I have a variety of colors here, I am going to use accent nails. So. Let me pull this out and I'm going to do, let's do that one. Use that as a dark purple and then this one, put that on my finger. I think that fits this one. So we'll mix it up a little bit. So here it is, this is what I'm going to use. And then I'm also going to show you guys what I do with the craft punch. So here is everything that I have set up. And again, we are gonna start with the pinky and with the thumb. And because I have small nails or short nails, I can use both sides for each nail. All right. Peeling the plastic, taking that off. Pulling this silver tab. This is the polish. Taking the tab off, and I'm going to put it right underneath my cuticle, just like this. We are pushing down one motion, just going straight down. We are tucking it underneath your nail. Okay, like this, and then I'm just using my thumb 
and I'm just pushing underneath the extra polish and you see it comes off. Okay, so that one is done. I'm gonna take this and use it on the other side. Again, right underneath my cuticle. Okay, pushing down. Tucking it underneath the nail. Just like this. And removing all of the excess. I love the color of this. Now, if you have excess that's on your skin, you just remove it like that. All right, so I've got two done. All right, now I'm gonna do the purple. This is a beautiful purple. Again, underneath the cuticle. Now the, the great thing about this is if you see that it is crooked, before you press down, you could actually pull it up and reposition it so that you get it right where you want it to be. All right. Pressing down, tucking under, now you notice that I'm using my thumb as a tool, which is why you wanna do thumbs last. All right, so there's that one. So you got two down. Putting this again underneath the cuticle, pressing down, tucking under, there's any excess on your skin you can just use your thumb and it comes off just like that all right that is this one is next goes pretty fast. Tucking it under. All right. So we have almost done. Two more to go. this side. All right, and thumb is last. this polish.
Okay, now this is my last one. I am going to use the side of my thumb, not going this way, but just the side of it, just to remove the excess. That is also the reason that they give you uh, the nail file so that you can just um, remove it with the file. I prefer my finger because I can see what I'm doing. And I know that I'm not gonna remove the tips because that's what I don't want to do. So I'm just removing that from underneath my skin, just like that, and taking that off. And you guys, that is it. So I just did my Manny and it's dry. So I don't have to worry about um, having to wait for, you know, there's no smearing smudging or anything like that here, which is awesome. And then I wanna show you guys this. These are craft punches. I bought these at um, Hobby Lobby and they come in super handy. They've got these as well. I've got hearts. So what I do is I take one of, the, my, one of my strips, the backing is still on, but I take this plastic, the clear off of it, and I slide it into the craft punch. So I can do this one first. I removed the backing off of this so that you can see. And I'm gonna put, I'm pushing this all the way down you can see the punch, right? All right. So this is what, what it looks like. It's a little heart. And if I add a piece of tape to the backing, you want it on the backing, not the polish, you can actually peel this off. So what I have here smaller little heart that I'm just going to peel from the tape just like that all right and I can put this on my finger and that just gives it a different look so you have butterflies you have hearts there's all kinds of shapes um, my daughter loves hearts so that we got that, but that's really easy. And then what I do is I put, there is a set called Clear as Day and all it, it looks exactly like this. It is just clear um, and it's basically a top coat and you just put that on top and press it down. And that way this doesn't snag on anything. But that is how I use my craft punches. So, if you guys have any questions let me know I'm here to help you and thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all soon love you all <laughs> bye